We're going to look at synovial joints. These are freely movable joints in the body that allow us to have movement and as a result to move and do our sport. The only limitation in the range of movement is the bone of the joint and the ligaments that hold them together. Turn to page 43 in your book and I want you to read through the introduction and highlight things in those first couple of paragraphs that you think are important. So get out your highlighter pen, read through it, and the first thing you can highlight are where two or more bones meet, they form a joint. That's really important. So just reading that through. Some joints, for example the skull, are purely for protection. Others, such as the spine, are for shock absorption. And, f and the, the rest of them, they're primarily designed for movement. One of the risks that um, can occur because we have such freely movable moving joints in our body is the risk of injury through dislocation. You can fill that in on number one. The risk of injury through dislocation. Now we're going to look at the at labelling the synovial joint. You've got the bone in the upper part, and then on the outer part is the ligament, and then uh, lining the ends of each bone is cartilage and you've got the synovial membrane which is um, containing the synovial fluid around the joint and there is a capsule um, on the outer side of the synovial membrane. So if you could label that, and then when you've done that, we'll look at the key components of those above things that you have labelled. So first we've got ligaments. So if you could fill that in, what are they for? The ligament joins the bone to bone for stability. I think... I think we'll find this picture easier to put into our books. This diagram here shows the ligament quite nicely. It's coming around the, let's use this red pen, it's joining the bone to the bone and that is the ligament. Well, that's pretty terrible. That's the ligament. And it joins bone to bone for stability. We've also got the, the capsule, the joint capsule. And that is in here. Right, I've fixed up that ligament. Looks a bit better. And we've got the capsule. The capsule provides stability and protection. So if you could fill that into 3B capsule and it provides stability and protection. We've got the cartilage which reduces the wear and tear between the bone surfaces. So the cartilage is right on the bone surface there. So we've got at C, you can put cartilage, reduces wear and tear between bone surfaces. D, synovial fluid. It lubricates the joints and acts as a shock absorber. 
This is what you find in between the joints there. Lubricates the joint and acts as a shock absorber. Lastly, we've got the synovial membrane, which produces the synovial fluid. The synovial membrane is on the inner side of the capsule. I've slipped in this image here for you to copy so you get your spelling correct.